Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. I'm always getting asked for album recommendations so today I thought I'd put together a little video of my top recommendations. I guess this is just albums that I think everyone that watches my videos should listen to and hopefully if you watch this you can find a new album that you like. And these are obviously some of my all-time favourites but I've tried not to choose really obvious ones that everyone's already heard or that you would already know that I love and yeah I don't know how else to introduce this video other than to say these are the albums that I would tell an alien that has just fallen onto planet earth and has never heard any music if they asked me for five albums to listen to these are probably the ones I would tell them so I hope you enjoy it please let me know if you listen to any of the albums and what you think and of course I'm always open to album recommendations in the comments so please leave me some. If you had to give me one album to listen to out of any others what would it be? Leave a comment below and let's go! So the first album I'm gonna choose is gonna be the album Phase by Mild Life. I absolutely love this band which you will know if you've watched any of my last few videos. I discovered them just the end of last year and I actually saw them live last week for the first time. I'll insert a little clip here because it was amazing. <laughs> this album is because I think it's a really easy album to like. But me and my boyfriend rarely ever like the same music. He's not really like a music obsessive like I am um, but even he loves this album and he's been asking me to put it on whenever I'm like about to put music on and stuff and that is a big compliment. And when it comes to the genre of this band they're extremely hard to categorize. I feel like they've kind of invented their own genre a little bit. It's very jazzy, very funky, very unique there's a lot of distorted vocals there's groovy bass lines it's, it's kind of dance music there's disco-y synths it is one of those you've got to listen to i think to really understand and the opening track on this album the magnificent moon is probably the best song on the album and probably the best song in their whole discography it's so good it's eight minutes long and every single second is perfection i just literally couldn't recommend this one enough like Honestly, it's so good. I'm going to give a little bonus one, I guess, because they have another album called Automatic, which I would highly recommend as well. Like, go and listen to Phase and Automatic. And I have no idea how you couldn't like that music because it's amazing. The song Vapor on the album Automatic is just like heaven in a song. I absolutely love it. So those are my first two recommendations. Next up is an album that I have so, so much to say about. This album has had the biggest impact on me over the years. I think it came out when I was about 14 and I actually remember making a video, just like a little home video in my bedroom talking about how excited I was. If I can find that video, I'll insert it in a minute. But the album is All Things Bright and Beautiful by Owl City. Wow, Owl City's new album came out. Oh my god, it was, it, it's amazing. Um, me and Ellie are going to go see our city in September. I've spoken a bit about my love for our city a few times on this channel, so some people may know. But I will continue to fly the flag and tell you that Adam Young, who is the guy that is our city, is one of the most underrated artists ever. He is so talented, it's just a joke. And this album is so special to me for a number of reasons. But I think the album cover, which is stunning, really does just sum this album up. If you're someone who, this might be niche, but if you're someone who really loves being outside in nature and loves swimming in the ocean and forests and all that kind of stuff, then I feel like you would enjoy this album. I know it's a bit like cheesy, but there is so much like nature imagery on this album. I'll pop some of my favorite lyrics just on the side here while I'm talking, but I think it is absolutely beautiful. The way Adam writes lyrics is so unique. And it's just like, it's so relatable to me as someone who loves being outdoors. And that is like a huge part of my life. And there's this one song, How I Became the Sea, which is absolutely stunning. And the ocean is my favorite place on earth, so can really relate to that one. It really speaks to me. Um, I also, the main thing that I love about this album is how he uses 
like you know things like the weather or flowers trees animals all this kind of stuff as metaphors for romantic relationships i feel like i can't even do it justice but you really just need to go and listen to this album and if you've only ever heard five flies by our city then you are really missing out on a whole world of absolutely amazing music and i feel like when it comes to this specific genre which i suppose is like electronic pop music or i don't even really know but i think there are plenty of bands and artists that have tried to replicate the our city sound over the years and none of them have just come anywhere near adam is truly one of a kind and this album is perfection so my third choice is going to be an instrumental album just because i wanted to mix things up a little bit and i'm a sucker for an instrumental album and obviously if an alien really did come to earth and ask me for my music opinion i'm gonna tell him to listen to a nine inch nails album so i have chosen the fragile deviations by nine inch nails and basically if you don't know what that is it is an instrumental version i suppose of the album the fragile so it's all the songs from the fragile but as instrumentals and there's also alternate versions and songs that didn't like quite make it onto the album but the theme is that everything's instrumental and if you know me then you will know that the fragile by nine inch nails is my favorite album of all time ever so of course i was gonna love this and i think you will too something that makes nine inch nails so good is their instrumental songs like Trent is so innovative when it comes to that so when I heard about the Fragile Deviations I already knew I was gonna love it and obviously I do and I just have to recommend it to you guys whether you've heard the Fragile or not it really helps you to hear the songs in like a completely different way and it's crazy how different certain songs sound without vocals especially Nine Inch Nails because as I said they're so layered and the songs are so complex and there's so much going on at once and it's stuff that you might not necessarily have picked up on like when you listen to the songs with vocals and I feel like you don't even need to be a fan of Nine Inch Nails you just need to like good music and interesting music. So for my next choice, I thought I would go for an album from one of my favourite non-English speaking bands, Malady. I could have spoken about any of their albums because they're all great, but I'm going to talk about my favourite one, which is their second album, and it is called Toynin Toyster. This was the first album I heard by them, so I think it's got a special place in my heart. So Malady are a Finnish band, and I wanted to choose an album by a non-English speaking band because I'm really trying to get more into non-english speaking bands and i wanted to mix things up and make this list as diverse as i could i also think if you're someone that watches my videos and you're probably into sort of similar music to me so this is probably something that you would like it's very proggy the last song is actually a 23 minute long epic which is incredible from start to finish but the whole album is so good it's so melodic and so dreamy and whoever the guitar player is has a really david gilmore-esque sound and the solos do remind me a little bit of some pink floyd solos which obviously i love and yeah like like the mild life album i think this is a really easy album to like it hooks you in straight away it's very easy to listen to and even the epic doesn't feel like you're listening to a long song like 23 minutes literally feels like three minutes because there's so many different sections it's just it's amazing and i just think that anyone that listens to this album will find something to like about it so go listen and the last album that I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be a live album because I thought that I would pop a live album in there. Again, just to diversify the list and I absolutely am a sucker for live albums. I love them. They're so much fun and in my opinion, this is the best live album of all time. So I had to recommend it really. And the album is Wings Over America by my beloved Wings. I love Wings so, 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 so much. If you know me, then you'll know that they've been my favourite band since I was literally like 12 years old. So I may be biased, but I think we can all agree that this is how you do a live album. This was Wings at their absolute peak for me. And the tracks that they chose for this album, the tracks that they perform live, unmatched. Actually unbelievable, like you literally couldn't ask for anything more. All of my favourite Wings songs are on this album. Paul's voice is absolutely top tier. It's the best I've ever heard it and this album just makes me so happy every time I listen to it. It puts me in such a good mood. There are a few Beatles songs on here as well for all you Beatles fans. But obviously it's mostly Wings songs and as I said before the tracks that they chose to perform are insane. You've got Jet, Picasso's Last Words, you've got Bluebird, you've got Magneto and Titanium Man, you've got 1985. You've got My Love, which is probably a highlight for me. I was never that keen on the studio version, but the live version of My Love, wow. 
You've got Listen to What The Man Said, which is my favourite wing song of all time. Literally so many. There is 28 glorious tracks on this thing. And I would literally just recommend this album to every single person in the world. I hope I'm doing a good job <laughs> at selling it. It's feel good. It's high energy. And it's Paul bloody McCartney. Like, what more could you want? So that is it for this video. I could definitely do a part two, three, four, five of this. But these, for the moment, are my top five albums that I would recommend. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I would love to hear from you if you do listen to any of the albums please let me know what you think you can message me on Instagram it's Mary Loves Music underscore or you can just comment on this video also please do leave your recommendations for me in the comments I would really appreciate it and as always thank you so so much for watching my next video is coming very soon and it is going to be the best books I've read about music so definitely come back for that and have a great week and I will see you next time